It's Rude, reusers of Unloved Discarded Excess, and it's Rude Girl here today in my studio, finally deciding to take some time and do some machine darning. I've never tried it before, and today's the day. And I've done some there, you can see there. That's my very first attempt, the larger square, and I've just done a smaller square, which I will show you shortly how I did that. I'm working on my Janome My Style great little machine that I rescued from landfill a couple of years back. The foot that I have on the Janome to do the darning comes from an Alna Lotus. Always a good tip to save all your bits and bobs from other machines if you give them away or even if you find bits and bobs related to different machines. Always handy to keep them because you can interchange them between machines and in this case the Elna Lotus darning foot does fit on this machine. So as you see it's got a square hole there. What came with the My Style 32S is a satin foot here and that is used for darning on the My Style 32S. I didn't realize I could use that and I've just put on this one to show you how to do it. But either way, you can use either foot. Well, here is my first attempt at darning. So I have placed the scrap piece of fabric in an embroidery hoop. I wasn't trying to do anything spectacular. I just marked a square and I just started to fill in the square, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then the instructions said to rotate a quarter and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Quite effective. I'm really happy with that. And the reverse side is interesting too. Here it's a bit thicker where I've stayed closer, here I've moved around a bit more. So that's just interesting to see what can be achieved. So all I did was I threaded up the machine in the normal way. The feed dogs have to be lowered and you lower these feed dogs at the back here. The tension had to be put up to zero on this lever here. There is a zero down to three and it has to be on zero. The length was placed on number three, the length of the stitch over here is on three and the width on zero. I put a size 12 Janome needle in, just a normal needle, and threaded the machine the same as always. The embroidery hoop just goes under the foot, place it down, it will not go right down to the fabric, it sits up, so it's a bit like free motion embroidery. I haven't done a lot of that, I have tried it. I lower the needle into the fabric, the presser foot is already down, and you are advised to stitch slowly. I just commence. Just going Across to the right, back again, across to the right, back to 
to the left. So there we go. Then you can stop with the needle in your work, lift up the presser foot, turn it a quarter, place it down and just go off to the right, back, back right, back to the left. As I said, I'm not doing this perfectly. Rude rarely does anything perfectly, but it's just to give you an idea of what to do. Finish it off there and I can keep going, keep filling it in. And there you go, the needle is in the work that I have just done. And it really is great. I can see why people really like actually doing free motion embroidery and that's probably something I will enjoy trying. However, for darning, this is great. It obviously shows up and doesn't look so good with the black on the calico, but if you use the same colour cotton, it will come up a treat. Very happy with darning. Thanks for watching.